William Matthewson Devices Geiger Counter. Uh, so it's been on the market since about 2009, uh, but it's a pretty cool pedal, and I figured I may as well explain it to the people who still want to buy one. Um, helps a lot more if you to appreciate this pedal if you understand how it works. So it, it's it's a very niche pedal, but uh, I, I'm very pleased with it. Um, so to understand how it works, you've got it's very simple, but you get a lot of noises. So you've got a preamp section, which is your gain and tone. Get lots of gain on tap here. Then you've got your tone, turn it up, or you know, that's all of your low frequencies taken away, so you've got a high pass. Turn it down, low pass. So we're gonna keep that in neutral position. You can take the tone in and out, because the tone kind of saps some of your gain, if you know what I mean. Uh, here we've got some your wavetable, so you've got 256 of these, available online. They start relatively simple. You know, once you're getting into two, you're getting into kind of tube, screamer, kind of, you know, gain stages, going all the way up, you're getting into crazy, crazy distortion. Well, once you're into letters, it's just, you know, just noise, really. But, you know, you might find a use for that. Uh, then that's going into a bit crusher stage. So we've got sample rate and bit depth. So I'll explain how they work. So, sample rate. So if we draw our wave table, got your signal coming in, that cheeky wobbly sine wave. Uh, so we've got amplitude up and down here, and time along here. The uh, function sample rate is how many times a second the pedal looks at your signal and goes, right, that's here, you know, that's here, and that's here. Uh, a clever Russian man decided that uh, in order to capture it properly, you have to capture it twice as fast as the highest frequency, so you get all the detail. Uh, so the idea of bit crushing is you, don't, you, know, you reduce that frequency you're capturing at, and you get weird aliasing, you lose some harmonics, and get some strange results in harmonics. So you know, if you had a really high frequency, and you're capturing at half that frequency, you're only going to get some of that you know, wave in, so you're going to get a weird thing. Then the other control, which is bit depth, is how many different levels your uh, pedal is looking at. So you've got different gains. So I guess this could kind of be more a like compressor almost, you know, or very cr crude compressor. So look, you know, if you, if you reduce this, it's only you may only capture your high and your low. So, yeah, let's hear it. So, straight in. So you can hear a little bit of noise in the background there, but basically what you've got there is your standard kind of fuzzy, you know, you could use that for grunge, you know, if you want to play some mud honey. But what's really interesting is what happens when you start taking stuff out. So, uh, perfectly usable distortion, but if you reduce the sample rate, hear that ringing? So the ringing there is the highest frequency that can be picked up. Hence is why you're getting those resultant harmonics on it. Yeah, I mean, it's not entirely pleasant, but you get a cool droning note, so... It sounds like you're going through a bit crush... Uh, a bit crush. It sounds like you're going through, you know, like a, an old Nintendo 64, which would be cool. So if, you know, you like those Mario sounds, then if we reduce that even more, we're getting into, you know, even harmonics on the low notes. You think, oh, you must be playing on the low strings there. I'm playing on the high E there. So it's very interesting how the sample rate affects, you know, what your signal is. So get that back up, get cool sweepy noises. Then if we get the bit depth in, in bit mode, 
you're, you know, as you're saying, reducing the bit depth, as I've explained. Um, so you can kind of halfway up. You get weird kind of fuzzy noises all the way down. See, it's just either low or high. So yeah, if you wanted to add some gain in there, it, it's a lot less predictable than sample rate. In Mask, um, it's a bit more complicated what that mode does, and I don't kind of... It's assigning it to a number, but you can use that to add gating. Silence. Dig it. So then what I'll do is lower this as well. So, all in all, some very cool sounds. Uh, you've got an input here for a CV pedal, which if you push this, you can go through and which ones you can control. So you can do cool sweeping things with a pedal. Uh, I'll probably review that at some point. Um, you get some weird sounds with these, but there's so many different combinations, so I keep it on here for now. Uh, well worth buying if you're kind of a sonic astronaut. Um, definitely worth the money. So, uh, yeah, look out for a WMD Geiger counter. Civilian issue if you're not into this, but when the civilian issue is still pretty expensive, you may as well get this. You can send it any instrument. It's, also, it's really good for production, so if you want to send it a kick drum, anything like that. Great sounds. Anyway, so, yeah, 10 out of 10. <laughs>